Welcome back from big today. We are around eight in Wadley, Georgia. It's Sorks the Swamp. 2021-2022 championship. Luke Armour in fourth throw B to my left. JP Balzer in 30 B to my right. There he is. Justin is Flair. Brandon Thompson's out front in the points with 128, followed by Jason McKenzie with 126. Then Justin Daughtry in third with 114. I'm in fourth with 110. Obviously, my videos are all out of order right now, but this is last year's season getting all caught up. Let's hit it. Not the greatest of starts. Got Lance Patterson with his big ginger hair right there. William McClure to my left, I believe. I was trying to go around the outside here, make a move, but it didn't work at all. It was terrible. Ryan Simmons getting by me. So not a great start here. And William McClure in front of me there, 30B class with me. I don't know who that is hollering over there. About a mid-pack start here, I think, but I think I can work my way up through the pack a little bit, make some moves. The track is super sandy, loamy. It's uh, very soft. It's like riding on the beach, honestly. Was able to get by William McClure pretty early here. Got JP Cruz up there in front of me, a good friend of mine. He's racing in four-stroke B-class. Coming up to this little swampy section. Look at Lance Patterson on the left. Already buried it. We're only a few minutes in here. So as we go through these tight trees here, just a little update. We are in 2022 racing the 2022-2023 season of Sorks. And I just released the first video of that race series. But I am still getting caught up on last year, and I do want to get these videos done. So love it or hate it, you can watch them where you, you don't have to. But I am going to continue putting up last year's videos, get all caught up on that, and put up the new season's videos as they happen. Able to get by JP Cruz here. Ryan Simmons up in front of me in the pink. Track was pretty good. I felt like I was riding pretty good. Looks like Ryan just got by Justin Daughtry there. I know Justin doesn't like to get past very much. on Justin. This place is a little, got a little bit of sand whoops to it, but there's also these really high speed sections as well. Which I feel like I tend to enjoy the high speed stuff. I like fast flowy tracks. I don't like the tight stuff. And Simmons apparently doesn't like the fast stuff because we're both getting by him here. I swear Justin speeds up whenever I'm around him. Looking for an opportunity, though. We got 
had this long sweeper here and I was able to go around the outside and just get after it. Coming through into lap one, JP Balzer's out front, Jason McKenzie in second, I'm up into third. William McClure rounding out the top 10 back there. Not sure who a lot of the people are in this race that we're getting by here. I like this section, it was nice and flowy, a little switchbacks. little spot right there was a little weird because it was like square edge so jason mckenzie apparently looped his bike out right there i don't know throttle got stuck or something weird happened i think he broke his whole subframe he was out of the race after that i think jack robinson there in front of me are both getting by logan balali and 250b class but jack robinson up there in 251b uh, Justin's behind me yelling at me. Fully pinned on the rev limiter, trying to get Jack Robinson out of the way. Probably trying to get me out of the way, too. Justin might have been going a little faster than me through there. There's Josh Bowling, 251B class. Now we got Brady Mills up front of me in four stroke B. So that means Brady Mills is from my row. So we're still catching people from our row. I think he had a good start though. I remember seeing him up front on the pole shot. That's David Davis in 50A class. Coming through lap two, JP Balzer's out front. I'm in second, Justin Daughtry right behind me. Brandon Thompson has moved up four places into fourth place. Chris Oyes has also moved up three positions into ninth. So some guys are making some big moves. Kind of checked up there, let Justin buy me. Felt like he was kind of going faster than me at this point. I don't know, I think I kind of fatigued a little bit. I might not be the best in the sand. Which I would think that I would be good in the sand, but so I like to ride on the back of the bike and just stay on the throttle, stay smooth. But uh, I don't know, I probably, I don't know, I don't think I handle the front end properly in the sand. I think I have a tendency to tuck the front end. I think that's Garrett McKee in front of me, 50A class. And Lance Patterson's coming up behind me, getting all revy back there. If you remember on lap one, he was sunk in the mud hole. So I don't know how the heck he got that out of there, but I'm assuming someone helped him. Russell Bobbitt coming by, pro rider in double A class. Lance Patterson's revving it out behind me. Guess I'll get out of the way. That hair though. Something fierce. Wonder if he watches these videos. Probably find out after this. Dustin getting a little bouncy. I'm getting a little bouncy. Not really the best way to enter this section. It's actually a little rough there in the middle. Kind of induced a little speed wobble action. 
So I was catching back up here with Justin. Seems to happen with us a lot. Kind of go back and forth. Not sure who that rider is, but looks like he swapped out or something. Got Vinny Tomich here in front of me in 40A class. Was This is... This really was my downfall, the razor here. I'm right behind Justin. You know, running in a decent spot. Podium spot. Get stuck here behind Vinny. Come through at the end of the uh, lap three. You know, I'm back in third. Justin's up in second. Not much other changes, but uh, I'm, I'm right here and... There's Jason McKenzie after his crash, just cheering everybody else on. But uh, I'm right here trying to, you know, figure something out to get by Vinny here and just kind of get frustrated with it, I think, and make this goofy mistake. That allows Brandon Thompson to get by me. So I'm back into fourth. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like seeing me crash into the dirt, though. So I catch back up to Vinny here. He doesn't give me too much trouble this time as I get by him. But a little bit, uh, a little too late. Hit that bump weird right there kind of almost sent me into the trees. End up just kind of washing the front end here. Super goofy fall. I was kind of just falling apart. Maybe this was one of those days where I just didn't sleep well and things just weren't going right. Got Mitchell Owen be coming by and Grady Bank, double A riders. Just didn't seem like things were working out for me that well. Come through lap four. I'm back to fourth place. Brandon Thompson took my spot. Corey Morrow's moving up through the pack up into fifth. I think he started pretty far back. Come through here this time. They're pointing out a line. I, I don't know that. I don't know that these are the best lines. So for some reason, I decide to pull over right here and let these guys by. It's freaking Anthony Bennett. Corey Morrow, Ryan Simmons, all of my class. I just went from fourth to seventh. So in two laps, I went from third to seventh. And I don't know if I even realized it at the time. I must have, but uh, I don't know, man. We're skipping ahead a little bit here. We're on lap seven now. Um, we were on lap five. So things just really fell apart there at the end of the race and went straight back seventh place not a good finish pretty disappointed with that one overall especially with i felt like i was doing pretty good on the track and everything but here's the points as they run still in fourth place but not a very good result we'll see if we can turn it around in the next one see ya